my brother's graduation. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I know it sounds ridiculous, but I need a wedding party, and you know, my parents are not as well. I just feel like I won't be able to come, so we're hoping at the end of June. But um, they plan to be. Should we lie? We don't have to. Oh, thanks. Yeah. What happened? Alice, the boat, you know how it is. Broke down again. Don't you lie to me. Get in here. May I? Thanks. Hello. Hey, Pat, how you doing? Looking good. Where's your time? Huh? Oh, no time. Hey. Hey. How are you doing? It's bachelorette number three. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted you to meet our oldest and dearest friends, Dr. and Mrs. Oppenheimer. Oh. This is Sam. And this is Lila, Kyle, and Jenny Larkin, Lila. who will be, of course, Alice's future in-laws. Oh. So nice. Look, look, all I was saying before was it was unfair to me for you to... What? What's what, stupid? Okay. Hello? It was unfair to me for you two to get engaged. That's all I'm saying. It was unfair to you. Mm -hmm. How does this make more of you? Look at her. I mean, she's ready to go now. She's going to come at me. I can feel it. It's your fault. Congratulations, guy. In a suit? Thanks. Tip. Fair game. What a Quick swab. Swab. I had stayed with my last boyfriend. I wonder if we would have ended up with an engagement party like this and in marriage and the whole thing. When I canned him, he said, if you ever change your mind, and I won't, but <laughs> I thought it was a decent thing to say. Just born to be a heartbreaker, Alan. Nothing you can do about it. please. My daughter and to Matt, to their engagement. And may June come quickly. <laughs> <laughs> continuously, a second limiting condition is reached at which the reflux ratio becomes a minimum. What would be the required number of plates at the condition of a minimum reflux ratio? Mr. Fletcher. Infinite. The is infinite. Infinite. Thank you, Mr. Fletcher. But your ventriloquist won't be there on exam day. <laughs> Where will you be? Hi, Michelle. Hi. Mr. Burke, how are you, sir? How are you? Say, hey, buddy, how's it going? Say. Hey. Larkin, this is Sproles. Hi, uh, Matt. Oh, W. Sproles took me to this house in the country last night. You have to hear about this. What house? What was that woman's name again? Jean. Right. This woman named Jean lives there. Has this like constant party. Well, I don't know if it's a constant. No, no, no. I think it is. In fact, some guys were there. They said it was like yeah, a perpetual no. house party. What guys? I don't know. Just these guys. Their friends are some pretty rough characters. Yeah, that doesn't bother us because my I... brother's an undercover cop. Nobody hassles us. What'd you do there? I, I don't know. What do we do? We just hung. Yeah. Yeah. My brother knows a lot of joints off the beat, and you know. Try yeah. But listen, this one's hip. I'm taking your ass over there tonight, all right? I'm an engaged man, Tip, remember? Parties will never be the same. Why would I want to go to some house in the country anyway? Because it's outrageous, man. Yeah. I got too much to do. Matt! Matt! You work too hard, pal. Be like me, I don't work. I glide. You know, someday you're a hotshot in here, then work. Your next lucky number in this bingo game is... Uh -huh. Seventy-five, seven-five, under the O. Well, I can't believe that didn't do it for somebody. 
Now you've got that lucky red dress on. You must be coming close, Sandra. N41, 4-1 under the end. Bingo! That's the name of the game. Check that card, Sway, my very good friend. And remember, sports fans, don't clear your cards until this race is announced official. These people are older now, but I like that. I, I feel comfortable around that person. Uh-huh. Like, do I flatter myself? Huh, I don't think so. But, but I mean, and hey, am I going to spend the rest of my life with these people? I, I doubt that, too. But it's just that, well, who are we unless we sample a little of this, try a little of that, sample some more of this? I don't know. Who are we? It's just a, that element that these people have lived a little. Okay, unsavory, I'm not going to say they're not, but that can be appealing. Yeah, absolutely. Unsavory is my favorite. All right, look, I wasn't going to tell you this. I was going to let you find out for yourself when you came out there. Yeah. But the night I was there with Sproles, I met this girl. She's like a friend of the uh -huh. woman who owns the place. Hello. Hi, Ellen. Hello. May June come quickly. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I met this chick, and she's she's like, she loves me. She's head over here. Uh-huh. Like you would go out on Maureen. Did we met? I might. Let's pull out there. You don't have to move in. Just watch me, all right? What are you gonna do? No, I mean, watch how I act. Watch how I make myself at home, all right? That's what you do here. That's how you act, okay? Exciting. Want a beer? No. The kitchen's that way. Get me a beer, would you? <laughs> sure, buddy. Thanks, pal. Hi. Good tune, huh? Excuse me. I didn't mean to. I just came in here to get, uh, is this the refrigerator? Came in to get the refrigerator? Huh? No, Tipton wanted a, a beer, actually, is, is what he wanted. Would you mind if I had a... Could I have a sip of your soda? Oh, I'm sorry. Kid, no spitting. Sorry, it's bourbon. <laughs> I was kidding, God. My name's Jean. What's your name? Matt Larkin. Matt. Can I make you a bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich, Matt? No, thanks. Thank you, no. So you're gonna be coming around, or...? Uh, maybe. I, I don't know. Maybe, yeah. I think you just gotta come around soon. You live here? No. No, I don't 
don't either. I know you don't. It's supposed to be a lot of fun here. Well, June likes to have people around, which makes her happy. You in school? No. Oh, I thought just maybe we went to college together and just didn't know it, you know? Yeah, but no. Yeah, I just came here because my friend Tipton, he uh, heard about this place at school. I'll just run over here from my house next door because my stepdaddy come home with that breath of his and climbed into my bed and laid down and put his arm around me. Jesus. Yeah. What the hell were you doing in bed at 11 o'clock in the morning? I was tired, okay? I already had two classes. Oh, good for you. I'm really sorry I spit on you. Didn't bother me. Thanks anyway, pal. Uh, aren't you going to introduce me? Jewel. It's for you, hon. Jewel. Hello? I can't talk now. I can't talk now because I'm busy. If your stepfather gives you a hard time, maybe you could tell your boyfriend. Maybe he could help you out. I want my stepfather. I don't have a boyfriend. Say, say, what the hell are you doing? My dad wants to sell her. No. Yep. Kathy. I told him wait till spring. I'll clean her up. He gets twice as much. We split it. What, you get half? Yeah. It's too much work, pal. <laughs> I don't mind. Look, Maureen and I are going to be over at her place tonight. Why don't you and Alice show up, huh? Well, maybe we'd go back out to that house, you and me. No, I'd rather see Maureen, wouldn't you? I mean, Alice. What'd you think of that girl I met out there? Trouble. Why do you say that? You asked him what I thought. Come on, Mark and I didn't take you out there to meet some, you know. Some what? Some, I don't know, whatever, whoever she is. Here, she's make yourself useful, huh? Oh, no, I can't, sorry. I got a, uh, I got a class. But... On Sunday? Yeah, it's some uh, medieval religious heretics seminar. <laughs> Bye. 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 Kathy. Let's see, you live, um... Yeah, that way. Mm. 
Are you from this area? No. What's the matter? Nothing, no, nothing. Just, where are you from? In Florida's where I was born. I love Florida. Brothers or sisters? No. I think my stepdad has got a kid somewhere else, but I've never seen him. What's this place? This used to be a railroad repair place a long time ago. Still some of them standing. Come on, I'll show you. sometimes to do what just to get away You know, I could read your future with 32 ordinary playing cards. 32? Yeah, ace down through seven, all four suits. Or even 18. 12 court cards, four aces, and two jokers. How'd you learn to do that? You passed on down to me. Shoot, I even got my name from the cards. The name Jewel comes from the ruby and the crown of the queen of clubs. Why didn't they just call you Ruby? What's the two of hearts mean? Good fortune. Success. Good. Good thing it won the two of diamonds, though. That means a bad love affair. Friends and relatives against you. This could be good, but there's no cards on either side of it, so I don't know. But I got a feeling. You get feelings sometimes, don't you? Oh, yeah. I get feelings. I believe mine. Sometimes I can go through a whole deck of cars and tell which ones are red and which ones are black. From the back? Yeah. How do you do that? Do it by heat. every day. It's Alice. Has your father, like, ever operated on a guy's spine and, like, you know, after the operation, the guy can't walk? God. I don't think so. Do you have any so. sense at all? What, is it important to you that I do? Yeah. Do I offend you? No. See? Hey, do you have to work tomorrow night? next tomorrow night. You know I do. Can't we skip the game and maybe just be alone tonight? We're here, Alice. 
you know, we got the rest of our lives and everything. But is this like the pistol you were talking about? Okay. Five bucks to give me elegant. three points. And I love that. Please. Five bucks to give me six points? So sure. Classic. Deal? You're a sucker. You're <laughs> such a sucker. I'll tell you why you're a sucker. First of all, your back foot's on the wrong ball. Everybody knows that. You know, Matt tries run. to tell me doesn't care anything about the right, air. You run, but you drop the ball. Not that's an act. Oh, you've got to see the china I picked out today. You will die. Wait a minute, how? No apartment. Until we start a family. Then I gotta have a house. I mean, you're a sucker, Matt. Yeah. So what do you got to say for yourself?
I did this to you. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. This is my fault. Well, I'm thanking you for it. In 32, 3 2 on the end. I just don't know if I'm going to allow it. Hey, look, you don't have anything to say about it. B8, my friend, B number 8. All right, maybe I don't have anything to say about it. Fine. That doesn't mean I'm going to allow it. Look, I have to do it, all right? My best friend's a raving lunatic. How do you think that makes me feel? Huh? I'm not a lunatic. See? The insane don't know they're insane. They don't even realize it. They have no thought, no idea, no awareness. Say, no, not at all. I go outside, meet Tipton on the sidewalk, and go, Matt, you all right? Look like you've been crying. <laughs> Every day. You poor thing. When was that? Oh, I guess I was a sophomore in college. I was in the third grade. Yeah. used to bring me and my brother here all the time when we were little. Yeah? I used to ask my dad where these rides came from. How they got here. I don't know who does that. We didn't either. I should show you some of my designs sometime. Some of the things I built. I wish you would. My favorite one, though, is this three-dimensional board game I designed. It's pretty good, I think. Is that right? I can never do anything like that, I don't guess. Although, you know, I'm good in arithmetic. <laughs> How old are you? 20. Really? Mm-hmm. There is something I would tell you, though. OK. Um, which is that I never graduated from high school. What? I said I never graduated from high school. I suspected that. You did? Uh-huh. Well, see, we were all the time moving around from place to place, and finally I just quit getting re-signed up and everything. You know, I almost did, but then I didn't. Well, you will one of these days. Oh, I know I will. I mean, it is important that you do. But, you know, no rush. Oh, I can't see tonight. Why not? Oh, I got to go to Lexington with my mother to see my grandmother. She's sick. <laughs> what? Ah, uh, it just it sounds peculiar. Why? Everybody always uses their grandmother as an excuse. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. I know guys, six, seven dead grandmothers all over the country. What's up? 
What? What? What are you doing? Um, you hungry? I guess so. All right, park it. All I'm saying is that certain people just, I mean, treachery and lies. You know? For example, I now something to tell you about Jewel, and I really think you better believe it. Now. I'm not going to talk about Jewel with you. Larkin, look, if, if Jewel is such a, such a touchy thing with you, maybe you should think about that. Every time you talk about Jewel, you make it clear you lust for her. Oh, hey. Hey. No, no, just hey a minute, all right? Jewel is married. <laughs> what? Yes, she's married. Jewel's married. She's a married woman. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's the other thing. What? She's not a woman. I mean, she's not, she's not 20. She's 16 years old. She's a girl. She is 20 years old. No, she's 16 years old, and she's married. Who told you that? Are you still hungry? Who told you that? Uh, Sproles. Excuse me, miss. Hi. Could we get some more um, sliders and spikes to go? Sure. Thank you. Very cute. Look, if she's married, where's her husband? Because I see her every night. Every night? Almost. Uh, apparently, he used to be in the Navy. Maybe he's in the Navy. All right, I don't know, okay? But would you just, like, maybe, maybe consider listening to somebody besides Jewel sometime? Who? Sproles? I don't think so. Just consider the possibility that you're being led down some little path here. Whether it's true or not, it doesn't matter, because I'm crazy about her. You're not crazy about her. I her. am. No, you think you are. You tell me the difference. Be nice to see you on campus again. You got king, queen, king, queen, boy, girl, God. <laughs> I'll tell you what they mean later, okay? Excuse me. <laughs> you know what we're gonna talk about? No, what? How come you're such good friends with Laurel? Oh, well, she's Jean's daughter. She's 15 years old? You think I could be friends with someone 15 or 16? Look, let's just not talk about people in the wrong home, okay? Is there someone bugging you about me? I don't know, maybe. Do you see your driver's license? No, I lost my driver's license. Where, at your grandma's? No, somebody bumped into me, me drive my mama's car, and of course everybody blamed me, and mama just took my license away. Hold on here. How old are you? Well, I'm not 16 years old, if that's what you heard. What? What else you want to know? I want to know if you're married. You don't think I'm smart enough to be going out with do you? No, just smart enough for you, because that cracky just me about my high school. You just stop and You don't want to leave other people. You don't want to leave you me. You make me You want to know if I'm married? Yeah. Yes. I'm married, OK? I married a guy. Now you know. I'm sorry. I was desperate. I was afraid he wouldn't have nothing to do with me if you knew I was married. Lady Floss. Yes. Good thinking. The marriage don't hardly exist. I never had sex with him. You never had sex with him. Am I supposed to believe that? You've got to believe that. 
I was too scared. I hate Green. I hate the guy. You think you married him? But that was just to get out of my house, away from that stepfather my mama married. How did I know that we'd move in with Green's father and he'd turn out to be the same way? What are we supposed to do with each other with you married? Why don't you come in with me? No, please let me wait here. Good evening. <coughs> Christ! Larkin, just, just, you know, would it be too much to ask if, you know, huh? I had no idea you were so rude. You didn't? No. Just, you know, walk in, why don't you, huh? You have a cousin who's a lawyer, don't you? Yeah, Gary. Why? I need a lawyer. For what? An annulment. An annulment? What are you, nuts? Will you take me to him? Larkin, why don't you just sleep on this, all right? In the morning, if you still want to do it. the morning, tonight. It's 11 o'clock. Are you going to help me or not? You know, Maureen, you don't have to change the bedding. I have to change the bedding. Thank you. Maureen's the cleanest person I've ever seen. Mayo Clinic's not that clean. She is immaculate. She smokes a lot of cigarettes, doesn't she? You'd never know it. I swear to God, you cannot in any way tell, not even why she's smoking. How's she do that? She has an ashtray beside her. She flicks the ash. Next second you look, the ashtray is perfectly clean. She's the most neurotic person on earth. Don't say that. It's just simple psychology. No, because you know who you're complaining about, man. Who? Maureen. No, you're not. That's not who you're complaining about. Or maybe this cat would simply agree to an annulment, in which case everybody just lies and we get some bozo judge to toss the marriage out the window. She never had sex with him. <laughs> Bingo. No, bullshit. It's true. What's this girl's religion? Is she some kind of Catholic? I gotta go to the Pope with this thing? I don't know. I never asked her. Oh, forget about it. Who cares? Leave it to me. Okay, so Gary, what's this, what's this gonna send him back? Four or five hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. Five hundred bucks? 
Hey, the initial consultation's free. When the horse underneath us drops, we take a fresh one. Why don't you just take a hike on this nag? It's got nothing to do with you! I can meet your parents. Oh, some other time. Smells like you in here. Always imagine what your room would look like. Guess I didn't imagine too good. Who's she? Gave her up for you. Well, that's the way I like them. What's her name? Oh, let's not get into that. Tell me her name. Jewel, it doesn't matter. What's her name? Jewel. What is her name? Come on, it doesn't matter. What is her name? Will you be quiet? Alice is her name. What the hell is wrong with you? Her. You know, I bring you here to show you what I'm interested in, what I'm thinking about. You don't care about that, do you? Well, I don't know anything about designing things or science or anything like well, you that. you start learning a thing or two. What you and I do is thrilling, but it's not the only thrill, kiddo. Oh, call me kiddo, big college man. you just man. keep your voice down, okay? Well, why'd you bring me here if you're so it's ashamed a, of me? I'm not... What? Because I don't belong to some sorority Shh. girls club, is that it? What? Look, I don't want to be here any more than you want me here, so why'd you bring me here? I want you here. Well, then why'd you bring me in the daytime instead of the middle of the night like somebody's whore? <laughs>
come you don't know where that thing is? What? That. No reason? No? No. Well, when I was little, I was so skinny, my wrist was so, so tiny, I couldn't get a wristband around it. Or if there was a band, the watch it would hang over both, both sides of my wrist. <laughs> Don't tell anybody I told you that, okay? No, I won't. Just never got used to wearing one. Tell me more things like that. Tell me everything about you. No. Want to go to Jean's house? No, you spend too much time over there. Most times I'm over there waiting for you to come out there and see me. Those people that hang out there are a crowd. It could be anybody. But be real jealous, okay? said anything about being jealous. Jealousy is a base emotion. It's a what? It's contemptible. It's... It's bad. Well, I'm the jealous type myself. Yeah. It's base. I have to go over there then. I don't mean to say I that said you can't okay. spend <laughs> He's still giving you a hard time? Who? Who? Your stepfather. Oh, no. You told me if he was, didn't you? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Come on. Anybody can go to some off-campus bar. Maybe a fancy restaurant. You drop $22.95 on a blackened steak and a hey, stare. Hey, good, how are you? Nah, nah, I like a place that's a little different, you know? I'd rather bring a six-pack of beer over here, maybe a sack of White Castles, and put my feet up, you know? Oh, baby, don't you have some schoolwork? Tell like you do, baby. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, Matt, water hot enough? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's tough for you without a bathroom, isn't it? Yeah, you never get used to it, I guess. Oh, and Jill went over to your mom. She's out there right now. All right. Darn. It's not right. It's not right. It's not right. You don't need any money, do you? Matter of fact, I do. I'll give you about 50 bucks for that little red-headed number of yours. Hey, don't walk away from me. <laughs> Yeah, it's tough living here too, 
Says, now you want me to leave here for good? That's exactly right. It almost sounds like she means it. Yeah, it almost does. You're damn right I mean it. Now get the hell out of here, both of you. You look awful lonesome sitting there. They thought over me. No, they did. Me and Matt. You had an experience like this? No. I wish I could have had an experience like that. Just one. You had less experiences, Jean. Yeah. And I wish I could forget every one of them. some water for you on the window sill. Thank you. Jean? Uh-huh. Why didn't you warn me? I mean, I had no idea he was going to do anything like that. No, about her. Why didn't you warn me about her? Some sleep, man. something. Oh, pardon me. This is my friend Jane. She's in my criminal law class. Hi, right, Jane. How are you? You gotta hear this. Okay. <clears throat> Sproles knows this guy, um, what's his name? Green. Right, this guy Green. And, and, and he knows his wife, <clears throat> Jewel. So, uh, allow me. <clears throat> First of all, Green is scum, okay? Now, he's a kind of scum. He's uh, 10, 12 years old. He tells his friends to steal money from their mother's pocketbooks. And then when his mother's getting dressed, he charges his friends outside her window to watch. So what? It's got nothing to do with Jewel. But this is the guy she had to have so bad she married him. This green character? My brother says he may have murdered two different people. Suppose his brother's undercover. You said... Listen to him, please. It's a fifth year senior. Now, Jewel, well, Jewel is just, uh, 
Look, without that body built the way she is, nobody would go near her. I mean, she's what? She's 16 years old? That's not true. <laughs> yeah, right. Do you realize I know all about you? How you met her over at Jean's? Your little love hutch? I even know about the night at the side of the house. I don't know how you or anybody else would know about that. Well, how could I know? Ask yourself. Jewel told you? No, that, uh, what's her name? Um, Laurel, she told me. Look, she's like, uh, what's that word? Um, manipulating you. Like, uh... Putty. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Listen, you don't have to marry every teenage girl that catches your eye. Especially if she's already married Who to somebody else. Who said anything about marrying her? Okay, I told Spose you might. Just... She sees a chance in you, that's all. You got breeding. I don't have breeding. I know, but compared to her, you do. This is a girl who lies to you, Larkin. Thank you. Your friend is, uh... Just shut up. I missed the class. Tell me about it. No, I hate missing general health. General health? What the hell are you doing taking general health? Because I didn't take it when I was a freshman when it was required. Now I don't take it, I don't graduate. It's humiliating, huh? Well, actually, the good thing is the girls. <laughs> He's surrounded by all these little smart, healthy, frisky freshman animals. They idolize you, you know? It's like being in a corral with these wild ponies. Sounds good. Yeah, it is good. Let's go out. Where? Follow me. What? Girls? What do you think? I think I like your style, Larkin. You know what? I'm not gonna wake up someday settled to some mistake. You're not either. You know what I don't get? How your dad made so much money so fast. It wasn't so fast. Look, I think about this country and economics and having a little bit of stuff go get him, and I can't understand why everyone, say, over the age of 32 is incredibly wealthy. In the first place, everybody doesn't want to be incredibly wealthy. Okay, Bobo. Say, say. Hey. We were going to call, but we didn't. No problem. Who beat you up? Some asshole. So, anybody want to, uh, do something? You may
Your parents were in St. Croix? Yeah. Saying something. I don't know. I'm glad you kissed off Alice. I knew you would. You did? I had a hunch. Because a few months ago, about the time of your engagement, I began to see things more clearly. I began to wake up to the things around me. Wake up? See, someone can be asleep, like unconscious, until much older than you think possible. You can do things. People talk to you, you talk to them, but you really just... It's talking in your sleep. Sounds like you know what I'm talking about. It does? I should tell you, Ellen, I'm on the rebound here. So, it's time for a change. <laughs> Just listen, all right? Here it is, okay. This guy walks into a psychiatrist's <laughs> office, all right, and with a parrot on his shoulder, okay? And, and, and he says, um, the psychiatrist says, yes, sir, how can I help you? <laughs> <laughs> and the, the, the parrot says, Get this guy off my feet! feet. <laughs> you heard this joke? How come you guys got so many schmallows? <laughs> I didn't get it. What, you don't get it? Yeah, yeah, I don't get it. Well, why don't you amble over here by the fire hood and I'll explain it to you. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> How can we drag yourselves out you. here? Guess so. I mean it. I'm sorry. I do not feel dragged. I just don't. How did you me. guys know about the dive? What are you talking about? How do we know about this place? It's horrible. Us? Huh? <laughs> How do we know about this plan? Uh, we, we come hunting here sometimes. <laughs> you guys are hunting. Yeah. You guys. We come hunting. What, we, what do you hunt? What do you hunt? <laughs> what do you hunt? We, we hunt with a crossbow. We hunt <laughs> wild geese and wild boar. <laughs> Is, is that where you found Alice? Ooh. I think mean, you and Ow. Alice come here all the time. Yeah, yes. 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 I don't think that's funny. That is so funny. That is, I mean, this guy, you joke Dude, and you joke. Mr. Rebound, no, I think uh, he's not kidding. But yeah, of course he's kidding. What are you, Bobo? Come on, he's kidding. Hey, wait, wait, you're serious with a married person here? Wait, wait, you don't get serious over a married person. You just, you, you have fun with her. Wait right? a minute, are you going to like a little problem with this married person and we're here to mend your wounds you have fun with her? Heart? No, this is not true. You know, because we're, we're not like a bunch of desperate old housewives that just need to escape out someplace and get laid. Wait, who said anything about getting laid yet? Mm. I, I, you know something guys don't realize? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Move. <laughs> don't throw they that at don't me. They don't realize that we consider ourselves lucky <laughs> when we get laid. No, no, see, you're wrong there. We consider you very lucky when you get laid. <laughs> oh, come yeah, on. That oh. is bad. Hey, me up on this. So that is bad. really I rude. Think you know and why? Yes, wow. so I'm trying to make Mind in the pool, babe. Yeah. Well, not your mind. <laughs> <laughs> You're women. Saying, I know women your mind are so is. special. Juvenile. So well, juvenile. You well, <laughs>
Gotta go meet somebody. Anybody got a cigarette? Mind if I flop a minute? When I was a little baby, about less than a year old, people in my family used to give me cigarettes to smoke. When you were how old? This little baby. They used to hold lit cigarettes up to me, you know, ones that are smoking, and I just draw on them like there's a bottle of milk. I've been smoking since I was less than a year old. Been addicted that long. God, the things they can find to do to you. I like take like there was this family on this lookout mountain way high up and this little girl's mama picks her up by under the arms and makes her look all the way down maybe two whole miles and this little girl's dangling over the wall screaming her lungs out and the mama's saying look look little baby you can see seven states You do that to a little child and you can scar her brain for life. Crazy fucking things happen to you. Can I see you outside a minute? Some kind of mess, isn't it? You get the money? Yeah, I got it. Thanks. Did you come out here with these people just to hurt me? It worked. Why have you left me? I haven't. I just tried to. I need to borrow your car to go meet Green. You want to borrow my car? Please. I had to go meet him to talk about the annulment. Be careful. I'm back soon. I will. He's back. Is the night ruined? What does everybody think? I don't think anything has to be ruined. Can I talk to you for a sec? I don't know. You know maybe I'll kick your ass, huh? 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 We got these highly attractive women out here. We bring them out here, right? And what do you do? I mean, you let Jewel come in and act up right in the middle of everything. It's... I mean, look, look at me. I'm busting my, my ass trying to straighten you out. I don't know why I bother. Don't bother. No, I'll tell you why I bother. <sighs> because when you become our age, it, it, it gets harder and harder, you know, to, to, make, to make friends, all right? And if you find someone who you like, or, or you have someone you like for some reason, I just say, okay, you fight to keep them. So I will, okay? 
But just... Come on, come on. Just don't push me to the limit on this thing. This isn't the only place in the world. <laughs> Let's go to a spot. Look, these are, <laughs> these are wonderful girls here. I can't go. Listen, I don't want to take sides, but... I can't go. Okay, fine. Hello? Jean? Hey. Hey. She's at her mother's house. Thanks. Matt. Yeah. Wish you well. You too, Jean. Okay, what happened? Why couldn't you come back last night? Doesn't matter. Tell me what happened, Jewel. You'll hate me if I tell you. I won't hate you. Can't hate you. I drove out and I met Green at the Blue Devil. The Blue Devil? It's where he told me to go meet him. I had to if I wanted him to go along with the annulment. Why didn't you tell me you were going there? I would have gone with you. You didn't ask me. I met him out in front where he was standing there with a couple of other guys. And he come over to my car. He came over. He didn't come over. It already happened. He came over. Then what? He wanted me to get in the back seat with him. And I said no. And I tried to start up the car to leave, but the car wouldn't start. It just wouldn't start. I know, I know. Go on. So then he made me get in the back seat with him. He said just to talk. 
so I give him these papers that this lawyer guy gave for him to sign, but he wouldn't sign it. By then, a bunch of these other guys had started gathering around, and some of them got in with us. And one of them was Green's old man. He was there. He's even more awful than my stepfather ever was. And then they all started grabbing me and touching me or trying to because I was struggling. And then Green made him stop. And I thought he was going to protect me, but I should have known better. He told him that he would show me off for money from him. So they all started paying him. And one of them would hold me down. And Green would pull up my shirt and my bra and show me off to one or two of them. And then some of them would get out, and then others would get in the same thing. And the windows were getting all fogged up. And I was getting dizzy and shaking and bruised. And I couldn't even struggle anymore. Thanks, straight. And every one of them was just laughing and slapping each other around and passing liquor. And then I don't remember what happened after that. Are you telling me you raped in the back of my car? I don't know. Of course you know. I said I'm only clear about as much as I told you. How long did this go on? It seemed like a very long time. If you were assaulted, we got to do something about it. No. I went through it, and it's over. It's done with, and I want to forget about it. I passed out. I must have passed out, because I woke up this morning with my clothes every which way, and I just uh, straightened myself up, and I come right here. Did you recognize anybody besides Green and his old man? Yeah, one. That friend of Tipton's was there. Who? Um, Sproles. That guy Sproles was there. He paid his money to see me, I swear it. Is everybody gonna have a different story, Jewel? Will you let me take you to a doctor? Hey, Larkin, Last what? Night. No, oh, no, 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 you don't understand. I was there, but I just happened to be there. I wasn't, I, I had nothing to do with it. Look, I was a bystander. Hey, look, Jewel parked in the front of the drive-in, see? And Green, he's there with a bunch of guys in, uh, shooting craps in, in the back of his truck. He, he, he's got a fistful of money. He comes over, gets in the car with Jewel, and starts trying to fool around with her. He was showing her off. No, that's the way she tells it. She was being exhibited. Well, no, maybe she perceived it that way. I don't know. Maybe the money Green had in his hands. Maybe she perceived it was payment to look at her. Maybe that's why she was fighting. How did you just so happen to be at the Blue Devil, Sproles? I was there with my brother. He's an undercover cop, for Christ's sakes. Look, he came out front to see what was going on, and he sent the guys on their way. Now, if Jewel were being mistreated back there, Larkin, by those thugs, he would have arrested the whole bunch. Now, I'm telling you the truth. You can ask my brother. Look, I'm not saying Jewel was lying to you. She was hysterical. She, uh, maybe she got panicky. She, what do you call it, um, uh, misinterpreted what was going on. Do you know where Green lives? What? Yeah. No, look, I have a class. My brother's gonna get the guy eventually, Matt, for all kinds of stuff. Why don't you just leave him to my brother? Hmm? 
Look, I don't have to go in there, do I? I mean, there's nothing I can... Take off, Sprouls. Oh, you just came right on in, did you? I know. Well, I'm not going to worry about it. Business good? myself to death. What is this? I'm not very good at this. Supposed to be an animal? Didn't exactly bring it to life, did you? <laughs> Just kind of take a bar of life boy and hack the thing up. Maybe I ought to wash your mouth out with it. You want to do that? You want to wash my mouth out with it? Why are you here? I think she likes it here. I don't think so. What are you doing here? You gonna be the prince? Is that it? You gonna carry her off on a big white horse? No. Nobody's prince. Well, I think she's expecting you to give her everything. Haven't you let her believe that you would? can't do that. So you're here to bail out tonight. 
man. Because if you ain't gonna just sweep her away, what the hell are you bailing out? Ain't no in between here, son. Well, maybe there is. Maybe you would sleep a lot better at night knowing she'd been released. I'd sleep a lot better knowing she never had to see you again. <laughs> but you're too good for her, is that it? I ain't good enough, but you're too fucking good. Why'd you have to come out here? I want everyone to stop hurting you. Jesus Christ. You want me to leave? Yes. I wouldn't go nowhere just yet, son. I gotta decide what to do with you. Come on, I'm taking you with me. I'm not leaving you here. Hold on! Let him go! Oh, no, she didn't get into it. Watch this. This will be good. Well, she's one bag of tricks, ain't she? Between you and me, we tend don't know what you might get. I'll tell you, one time I come home, she had some kind of black magic going on. Had them goddamn cards spread all over the floor. Candles burn all over the house. Frightening thing. Honey, what was it you was trying to find the cards that night? Your future. <laughs> Will you let me take you home? Just stay away from me! I want you to get out of here and I never want to see you again, ever! Go! Go! go. And let him go through the stairs out of the cabin! Sign the papers! Or don't sign them, I don't care, because you're dead to me anyway. You're dead to me! Yeah, I'm going all right, but I'm going by myself. Don't talk about me. Don't even think about me. Just do me that favor. You don't want me. I'm used. I'm wore out. I'm bad goods. You can't trust me. Why don't I just go to hell? You think I'm a dope? Well, let me tell you something. Deep down, I've always been smart enough to know this wouldn't last. You've got one thing with me, just one thing. Just sex with me. So that is not all that we ever had. Shut up. I heard the truth. I heard you. Making the old tip top go back to school, huh? I want him to get his master's. Yeah, and I tell her half the people working at King's Island have their master's in history. <laughs> but, you know, what can ever break? Right. Okay, let me get these things. I'll meet you guys up there, okay? Order me a hot chocolate, all right? How's, how's your mother? She's fine. We sold the house. We moved into an apartment. How's it up in the north? Oh, it's fine. It's, it's, it's not too bad. You here alone? No. Uh... All right. Hi. Hi. Hey, Matt, 
This is Stephen. Hi, it's a pleasure. Same here. Stephen, do you want to help me with those skates? Yeah, sure. I enjoyed meeting you. Yeah, that's me, yeah. I wonder if you'd be home for the holidays. Oh, you know I went away? Sure, I knew. How's that graduate school? Well, school? You know, never ends. Well, I don't guess it ever does. Steven seems like a good, good guy. <laughs> he is. He's awful nice. He's in my English class. Oh, good. I was hoping that you'd go I back. did. I'm Laurel's school. Laurel's grown up a little bit. Years worth. Funny. In some ways, I remember her very clearly, and in other ways... I think the mind has a natural way of letting go, doesn't it? I guess so.